prefer like from publications like Wall Street Journal, The Guardian, that they're actually using Google products like Google Spreadsheets to make their tools for the user rather than using like um, hard coding or like databases. How do you think Google is planning to like expand or help them in this process? Well, we think that um, those kind of tools that technology allows you, like Google Spreadsheets and things like that, can be a fundamentally interesting part of new journalistic storytelling and narratives. And I think that we just want to do more in that space. Uh, we also do quite a lot with training of journalists to use Google tools to, to help with stories. So again, we want to do more and more in that, and we're actually having a dialogue with the news industry about how we can uh, work together on that kind of stuff. Um, News as a commodity is always a challenge. Um, from a business model perspective, we have lots of platforms and tools and products, whether it's uh, things like AdSense and AdX and DoubleClick with advertising platforms. We also uh, help with things like digital newsstands. So we have Google Play, uh, Google Play Newsstand. So we have a, a vast array of products that uh, publishers can use to help the monetization of, uh, of their quality content. I think that the, if you ask the Google engineers, they would say that the algorithm was, their, their vision of the algorithm is always to, to showcase uh, great and original and uh, content and actually to answer the queries as best as possible. The reality is that's actually quite difficult. Um, and if you look at the way that, that uh, the web is built around links between, uh, between different websites, actually one of the things that news organizations could do a little bit more of is actually linking to each other's content. Uh, and that could be seen as a very big signal. I think we are looking into this space as well with uh, things like the Trust Project that uh, Richard Jingris is uh, doing, which we're uh, trying to help with, with the, I think it's the Santa Clara School of Journalism. But we're always trying to look at ways that will be good for users and good for publishers.